I was mad. Like, y'all sent me a used returned to the store item. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you're new here, I'm Crystal. Hey, friend. We are just in the bathroom about to clean our makeup brushes. This is what they're looking like. I got this little spin thing from Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that. And so I just put all my dirty brushes in here and then I wait till it gets full and then I wash them all. So even though I have a whole lot of makeup brushes, I don't like to wait until they all get dirty. I've seen some ladies who have like a hundred brushes and they have to wash a hundred brushes, just get new brushes and just wait till they all get dirty. And they don't like to clean them. So they just buy new ones and then wait till they get a hundred and then wash them. I'm not like that. Once my little container gets full, then that's my cue to go ahead and wash my brushes. So I wash them with Zolt soap. Um, this is what it looks like. It's called Zolt, Z-O-T-E soap. It just comes in a little bar. Oh, you can kind of see the name of it here, Z-O-T-E. Z -O -T -E. Um, this soap is used for laundry. It's like a laundry soap and people wash their clothes with it. But when I say it get these um, brushes clean, it gets them so clean. It has a nice fresh scent too. So I'm just gonna show you what I do. I'm gonna turn you around. Um, I did forget my little scrubbing pad. So I'll go get that. And then we just gonna clean our brushes. That way we can start off the week with a with clean brushes so when we're doing our makeup you know we, we, we all good to go stop rambling let's just do it girl okay i do use these two things when i'm cleaning my brushes this is just a cleaning mat it has these suction cups on it so i just kind of suction it to the sink and then i use the different little areas to scrub the brush clean so I will use this. I got this off Amazon. Um, you can just Google makeup brush cleaning mat and I'm sure all kinds will pop up. And then I also use this. This is a little scrubbing brush thing. You just hold your fingers in it and you scrub your brush. I got it from Shop Miss A's AOA brand, but they make these everywhere. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon too. So we're just gonna use this and um, our soap. So let's get started. all right friend i am done with the brushes what i do as i wash them i just sit them <laughs> on my bathtub until i get them all done and now i am going to set them up so they can get dry um i haven't used this power wash on them before but um i just cleaned the sink with this but i saw that it was like leaving some residue on some of the brushes so i did want to spray some of this on it and i did used to use dawn back in the day um, to clean my brushes so that's something you can do um, i do want to add that um, i don't have very expensive brushes so i know it's probably looking like i was digging in the rough and all that i think the most i pay on a brush is probably twenty dollars for one brush maybe 25 uh, but most of the time i use like bh cosmetics sonia kashuk morphe so those brushes are not that expensive so um i don't have to be all gentle with them but they do last and they are good brushes don't get me wrong with me saying that but um you know some people like don't get water down in the ferrule because it's gonna make them make them shed and all that kind of stuff i haven't had any issues with that but girl it's your brushes do what you 
do what you want to do with your brushes so um, I'm just gonna say that and what I do is just um, put them in I have two different holders I picked this up from Amazon a long time ago girl and it's a um, makeup brush drying tower that's what it looks like you just put it together and then you can put your brushes in there and then um, I picked this up from somewhere it's not for makeup brushes I don't remember what it was for so when I saw this I was like hey I could put my brushes in here so they're just um, something with holes in it that can hold it upside down so the water drains down so when I saw it was at the store I was like I'm gonna use it for brushes so what I'll do is try to put all my smaller brushes in this this comes with different little holes that you can push it in and hold the brush so what you do is just sit your brush in it like that so it can drain down and the water drains out so I just kind of spread the bristles out and then I'm just gonna sit them on the counter and they'll be dry they should be dry tomorrow but if not um, Tuesday they'll be dry so that's what I do and um, yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow hey friend it is Monday it has been a crazy work day, but nonetheless, we are over it. We're done. We're in the beauty room. I look crazy because I just um, washed my hair and then I blow dried it. So yeah, we're gonna look like Mufasa today, but it's okay. We still cute. <laughs> but we're in the beauty room, of course, uh, because we're gonna be putting away the things that we hauled from last week. I am just so proud of me, girl, because I've been just like hauling it and putting it away, hauling it and putting it away and just getting this room together. And I, I'm liking how it's turning out. Look look at that. Don't that just look so lovely behind me? I just, I just love it. Okay, I don't wanna be long. So let's just, um, I'll show you all the things that are, that I opened up just in case you didn't check out the vlog last week. You can go back and check out the vlog so you can see the things I hauled. Okay, this is the box of the things that I hauled from last week. It's random things in here. Some primer, some foundation, some eyeshadow, um, some makeup remover spray. All that. Go back and check out last week's vlog so you can see it in depth. But let's just put it all away. I'm going to start with these lip glosses. And I'm just going to put them in the drawer here. Again, we're just putting things away, but we will find better homes for them when we're actually ready to organize the room. Right now, just focus on hauling it, and then we will organize together as we go through this journey. Right now, uh, right now, this is just all the, the lip things that I hauled. I will put this Fenty in the Fenty drawer. I do plan on this drawer being of all my Fenty things. This is a um, a few, what is this, a MAC and a Makeup Revolution, but I have a few more Fenty things to go in there. So eventually it'll be all Fenty. And then again, we'll, we'll organize it and put things in proper place later. Um, what's in this drawer? Oh, that's my Tatcha and my Jaclyn Hill. Uh oh, sorry to blind you just put that in there and then what's left in here um foundation so we'll just take all three of these foundations move over to the foundation drawer just take them here so i have two drawers of foundation this drawer here and then also this drawer so this drawer is where i like the foundations to stand up but it's pretty full right now until i can actually purge it don't have much room in that drawer so for now we are just going to put them in this drawer these two and then this is where the, the ones that lay down goes in this drawer and then the other ones go here that might be too tall yeah she's a tall girl she's a tall girl so she'll have to lay down but she'll go in there now again we're going to organize and declutter now we'll go back over here. What else is left? Eyeshadows. So we have three eyeshadows that we need to put away. So let's take these to the eyeshadow drawers. 
And they're over here and I have, let me sit this down. I have two drawers for eyeshadows. I have this drawer here. And then I also have the drawer under. It's also eyeshadows. It goes all the way back there. And again, right now, we're just gonna place things, girl. And then we'll have more videos together of us organizing. But for now, they'll just sit in there like that, okay? There's that. Okay, what's left in our drawer? Oh, here's the eyeshadow. This was the uh, one size eyeshadow from Patrick Star. There we go. And we'll just put her in here as well. Um, what else is left in the drawer? We have some setting powders and um, let's do that. So my setting powder drawer is almost at the bottom. Oh wait, this set is braids, I'm sorry. Here we go. The loose powder drawer. This is the loose powder drawer. And um, I actually have two rolls of loose powders, two trays. So I have this tray here. And then if you lift up under it, let me see if I can show you. Up under it, we have more loose powders, two drawers, and it looks like they can fit right there. Nice and perfect right there. Let's put them there. Okay, they'll go there for now, but again, we'll organize it better later. What do we have left? Um, primers. So it looks like we have quite a few primers, so... All these are primers and then the primer drawer is on the bottom so here's the primer drawer and there was some type of organization but for now they're just here I got all kinds of primers I got two of these what's these oh one is matte and one's regular okay let me get out this drawer yeah that's where they go Okay, and then we have setting spray here, and then these two. These are um, oh, all setting sprays. Okay, so all three of these setting sprays. We're gonna try to put them in the setting spray drawer. Their drawer is jammed packed, girl. Um, yeah, this is the setting spray drawer. When I say jammed packed, it is jammed packed. So I'm gonna have to eventually go through this drawer and um, take out the like primer sprays and put them in the primer drawer. Cause right now I have anything that sprays. So some of them are primer sprays versus setting sprays. Um, it's gonna be a miracle if I can get this drawer to close, girl. Because when I say jammed packed, Oh, it's not good. It may not go. Let's see. Let's see. Uh oh, we lost one. Get back here, girl. This may not work. This may not work. Mm. Oh, so close. So close. Yay! They all fit. Okay. And then the last thing in here is a. What is this? This is a liquid eyeliner pen. Okay. I haven't shown you guys this, my eyeliner drawer because it's here behind the things that I still have left to haul. So it's actually in those drawers down there. So to keep from moving everything right now, I'm just going to just put it in that little corner <laughs> and then we'll move it once we get all this stuff hauled so yeah i am excited that we are getting stuff put up hey, we got a whole empty box girl we are getting this stuff hauled and put up and yeah. i just have those two boxes left this lighting is just oh i just have those two boxes left from sephora and then um we can start the cleaning up and the organizing and the space. I should be embarrassed coming out here, but girl, 
this is my life so yeah okay i'll see you tomorrow bye happy tuesday i'm in the bathroom about to straighten my hair and i thought i would bring you with me let me put some chapstick on so i won't be looking dry lips and crusty so yeah i washed my hair the other day and now i am just going to flat iron it or press it <laughs> so i do use this pressing um i do use this pressing comb it's by andy's and i guess i should turn it on and that's what it looks like just a pressing comb you know i got mama used to do back in the day and then i also have a flat iron here by andy's as well i actually only use andy's products so i have their blow dryer, their flat irons, several flat irons, curling irons. I like them. They are accessible. You can get them on Amazon. But yeah, we're just going to straighten our hair and I'm going to attempt. I'm not sure, but I kind of want to do something with this hairline of mine. It is thinning because I'm anemic. I told you guys that before, but I may just trim it and, um, you know, make some baby hairs of some sort. I don't know. We're gonna see. Cause if the hairline is already thin, we'll see when we get when we get there. I don't know. Let's just straighten it first, okay? So yeah, you could just watch me as I get this hair together. girl we are finally finished i don't know if i'm gonna leave my hair in these rollers i just wanted to do it for tonight i don't want it to be just completely straight because my hair is thin and it'll be too flat so i didn't really want to pass the flat iron through it too many times and i put these rollers in it so hopefully i'll have a little body to it not body but it so won't look so thin y'all see my hair y'all know how i be looking thin sometimes but anyway we are done we are gonna put a bonnet on take a shower and go to bed i'll see you tomorrow happy wednesday girl i am just in the bathroom i've been in the bathroom all week i think all week i've been doing something in this bathroom but here we are again <laughs> I am just finishing doing um, some skincare. I've been watching videos and I was thinking about buying um, the skincare treatment that everyone's talking about saying it helps with the texture and all that. Then I got to thinking, Crystal, you have all kind of stuff already in this house. So use what you got and stay out of Sephora.com. So I went in my beauty room and looked through my stuff and I have this Mary Kay um, little two-step process. This is what I just put on my face. It is the microdermabrasion two-step process. So the first step is like you put it on your wet skin and it's very abrasive. I can't say that it almost hurt. I feel like I had glass in it. It, it almost hurt. Um, so you do step one and then step two is you put this other cream on it and it kind of helps replenish so step one says it refines the skin and step two replenishes the skin and i can agree with that because my skin feels so so baby soft right now yeah it feels so soft but i feel like i might be having a reaction to that we'll see this texture i didn't get this texture till i got older not old, older. Yeah, this texture. Anyway, I just wanted to show you my hair because I did um, take off the flexi rods and it actually turned out cute. So this is what the curls are looking like um, with the flexi rods off. And I 
am liking it. I need to hurry up and do that rinse to my hair because honey, look at all this, look at all this gray. All this gray is gray and honey. But I think the curls turned out okay. Some of them I gotta play with and flip them around, but this is what they turned out like, cute, right? So then if we go to the back, I don't know what the back looks like. Is the back cute? I think the back is cute. You let me know. But I think the back is cute. It look cute in the mirror. But yeah, I think I'm liking the flexi rods. Um, I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with these edges yet. I don't know, I'm gonna have to watch some videos on how to lay some edges because my edges are so, we're not gonna talk about the edges, okay? But yeah, this is the hair with the flexi rods. I think they look cute. It's a beautiful day outside. I should go outside because I've been in the house all week, as you know. And um, I may go sit on the back porch or something. I don't know, just to get out the house because when I work from home, I'm in the house five days a week. So um, my dog, she's ready to get out. So I'll probably take her out. Maybe we'll go walking around the block or something if she walks, honey, because she don't like to walk. She like to ride. But the flexi rods turned out cute. I think I'm gonna put it back in tonight on this part anyway, because it's just doing its own thing. And it's doing that because I had the part in the middle, remember? And then I flipped it over to this side. So it, now it's not curled right. But now, since I know I'm going to wear a part on the side, I'll roll it a different way. But, girl, I'm just rambling because we're in the house, bored. But, see you tomorrow. Happy Thursday. Girl, I'm excited <clears throat> because I got some packages in the mail. And guess what? It's not makeup related. It's not beauty related. It's not fragrance related. It's for my kitchen. <laughs> I am doing some decluttering and purging and spring cleaning and just evaluating the things that I'm holding on to and if I still even like those things now. So I'm getting rid of my Pyrex Tupperware. It's not Tupperware, my Pyrex containers that I used to put food and stuff in, uh, leftovers, and then I used to keep fruit and stuff in them. But they take up a lot of space in my cabinet and I decided I don't need them anymore. So I ordered some more from Kohl's and my two big packages arrived. So I got some new um, glassware slash bakeware. And this one I can use it to store food in the refrigerator, leftovers or whatever. And I also can use it when I'm cooking. So that's why I wanted to switch over to that. And then I got some new bakeware um because the pans i had i had rachel ray bakeware's rachel ray's cookware too um but i had some of her bakeware a while back and um it was just old so then i reordered some and i got some food network bakeware and girl that bakeware wasn't worth nothing the, it wasn't worth the price i paid for it okay so now i ordered some new bakeware had some good reviews um, so we're gonna see how these do. I'm gonna show you my two big packages and then we're gonna open them up together. Okay, this is the two big packages. This one came in a bag and then this one just came in the Kohl's box. So this one is the um, non-stick bakeware. Sorry, it's upside down. And then this should be my glassware that's in the bottom. So let's just open it up and see. Okay, so we're gonna open up the first bag and look at them together. Put my price tag and stuff off. Oh, so I'm trying to show you the price for it. Okay, so this is the bakeware I got. This is the name of it if you're interested. I picked mine up from Kohl's, but that's the name of it and the price for this this little set and this is what it looks like so it says that the food will not stick guaranteed um hassle free lifetime guarantee what I'm not liking is this package look like 
it's been open or it's been through something. So I don't like this. Did somebody open this up and return this? This better not have been used, not for $143. It better not have been opened up and used in any kind of way. That is, I don't like that. Oh, this is definitely a returned item, I think. I mean, it don't look like it's been used in any kind of way, but it don't look like it's brand new either. It don't look brand new. Look at this bag. It, it looked like somebody had been having this bag. Mm -hmm. Let me just keep looking. Maybe, maybe that's what it looked like. It has this piece. Okay, let me calm down because I was about to be made. But it all, it looked like it's all new. But somebody. Somebody purchased it and returned it, it looks like. Or either they've been having this in their warehouse for a long time, but it hasn't been used in any kind of way. So I guess I'll keep it, but that's what it looks like. It's nice and heavy. So my thing is, I want to make sure nothing is going to stick to it because that was the problem with the with the Rachel Ray one I had. Um, stuff was sticking to it. And, you know, like if I cook with some barbecue sauce or something, it will like stick to it. I didn't, I didn't like that. So I want to get something that doesn't stick. So let me just take it all out of the box and then... I'll show you. I'm kind of scared of this box because I really feel like it's been open. It's a leaf in here. Look at this. Girl, please don't let no animals, snakes, anything be in this box. That is so frustrating. Why is it brand new and been open? And it looks fine. It looks like it's just been in the Coles warehouse. I ordered it from Coles. I say. So maybe it's just been sitting in the Coles warehouse. And I maybe that's maybe that's all. back i had to get off of here and go call coals.com because i was mad like y'all sent me a used returned to the store item and they sent my money back i'm like i spent 143 dollars on this so it should be brand new so what they said was they're gonna go ahead and refund me my money and i can go online to order a new set and i can just keep this set so I still don't know how I feel about it, but I don't know. I don't know. I do want to order a new set because it's missing the main reason why I bought the set. I wanted the um, 
the pan that has the top on it. Like if I bake a cake or cookies or something, I can put the top over it. That was the main reason why I got this particular set. And that is what's missing. So yeah, I got all the other eight pieces for free, but those two pieces I want is what's missing. So I probably will order um, the correct set or at least see if I can order just that pan alone and then I'll have the whole set. But yeah, they just refunded me my money back and that's so frustrating. I'm gonna go to bed because that just ruined my whole day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey girl, it is Friday, excuse me. <laughs> I got this bonnet on my head, okay? I'm on lunch break and I got a few minutes left and I was so mad last night. I just took a shower, rolled my hair up and went to bed. Um, I forgot I didn't even show you guys the um, the other piece, the other stuff that I was getting. So this is the glassware that I'm getting. And I'll show you the um, what I used to have in its place. So it comes with a 10 piece set. So it includes all these items. And then I figured that I need a bigger one just in case um, I make like a lasagna or something. And um, it only had one. So I ordered this one separate. It's still kind of small compared to the other glassware that I used to have, especially my other pan I used to do my lasagna in. But um, I didn't need all that big stuff anyway. So I think I'm gonna be happy with this purchase. So let me just show you what it is, girl. Let me scoot you down, can you see? So it just comes with these little glass containers here. Just in case I have you know, small leftovers, not a whole lot left. I can um, use these and they just snap closed. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. She's so cute. Okay. And then she got her sister in here too. So you get two of this size. I'm going to wash them, but I just want to see how they, how they stack and they airtight. Did y'all hear that? How the air just suction out of there like that? then um we got two this size and then the two tops okay listen listen when i put the top on it's gonna go you hear that they are airtight like nothing getting in there okay so again two where's the other one why i'm whispering like i'm at work i mean i'm at work but i'm on break like i said i got about three minutes that's that one. And then, so there should be two this size, two that smaller size, and then two this size. So let me get that one out. Yeah. So here's the other one for this size. Hey, I feel like I'm gonna need something bigger when I make lasagna. I normally make a big old pan of it, but it's not like I make lasagna that often. I could just, um, I could just make it in both of these since I got two. That'll probably be what I do. Just use both of them. So, yeah. So, this set came with those. And then I just added the extra one in this size. Okay. And I'll show you the... Um, you can kind of see right here, actually. This is what I used to use. These um, Tupperware things. I had all these. All these, girl. And I wasn't using all them. I wasn't using all them. So I'm just going to um, consolidate and go from that to just these. So all those to these six. And then um, that'll definitely free up some room in my cabinet. So just this. I think that's going to be good. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll see you later. I got to go back to work. Bye. Hey, girl. It is still Friday. I'm trying to block this sun. I have gotten up, gotten dressed, left out the house, and I'm headed to my little crab place to give me some good old um, crab legs. It is 
Saturday. Since we've been in the bathroom all week, I figured why not end the vlog in the bathroom? I have been out all day with my friend Frida again. We went to the mall, we went to the Cheesecake Factory, we went to Sephora, and then um, now we're here. So I have a haul of some things from Shein. And I figured this week for the haul of the, the weekly haul for the vlog, we would just haul this. Now I still have some stuff from Sephora and Ulta to haul, but I do want to haul this to go ahead and get it out the way. Let me start with the nails. You cannot order from Shein and don't get nails. So I picked up these little nails here. And I do have a ring light going right now. I might turn it off if it gets crazy, but I picked up those. I picked up these because I wanted to try something different. Definitely out of my comfort zone. I picked up these. I have a pair of these already and I really like them. So I wanted to pick up another one, just a nice nude pair. I also have these. They're just some French tip coffin shaped. Can't go wrong with those, not too long. I might wear these next. And then I picked up these. I actually have, I picked up three packs of these. These were the first nails that I picked up from Shein and I love them. So I went ahead and ordered three more packs of them. So that's the nails from Shein. Right now I'm still with my little short French tips and they're doing just fine. I picked up this container because, as you know, I am organizing in my beauty room and um, I figure I could sit something in this. It was like on, on their, in their sales section. I think I could put like my face mask or something. I'm not sure, but I got that. I got this. It's a purse. I've been holding on to this so I can haul it with you guys. So it was just a little black purse. Again, we just throw stuff on the floor and clean it up later. I know. That's horrible. So this is what the purse looks like. It has a little handle. And oh, it has a strap on the inside too. It has a little zipper there. Okay, I kind of like this purse. I saw somebody else's she in haul and they um they link this purse below, so I thought it would be cute. Um, yeah. It doesn't smell like anything. People say she in um, leather stuff has a smell, but I don't smell anything on that. But that's quite cute. I plan on just carrying it like this, but we'll see, we'll see. I picked up a bonnet, a hair bonnet, because these bonnets keep on falling off my head. And this is one with elastic on it and tighten it up. So we're gonna see if this stays on my head. So I'm excited about that. I picked up a hat. Because when I'm just running out the house and need to wash my hair, I be wanting to put on a hat. And so, Oh, girl, that's kind of cute. What you think? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's cute, girl. That is so cute, right? We might leave that on for the remainder of the video. That is so cute. Okay, I'm excited. Best, best thing yet. Um, What is this? I picked up some sponges. We're gonna keep this hat on because I feel like this hat looks cute on me. Oh, I'm, this, I'm proud of this purchase. Okay, let me. Okay, so I picked up some sponges because um, I wanted to use it to set my makeup under my eye. So, right now, I actually am using two sponges. I use a wet sponge and a dry sponge. I just, I like a wet sponge to do my foundation but a dry sponge to set my concealer under my eye I don't know this is something new that I've just been into so I may try these for that instead because it fits like 
<laughs> Girl, I got this. Some temporary tattoos because I'm thinking about getting another tattoo. And I either want it on my thigh or on my arm or somewhere here. So I just wanted to get some fake tattoos and see what I think about it. Because you know, once you do the real thing, it's on. It's on. It's, it's, it's there forever. Uh, what is this? This is some little socks. This is not what I thought it was. I thought it was something different. Like when I wear, you know, flats, sometimes I, you know, I like my toes covered up and it's, it's, it's silicone. I didn't think it was silicone. So I don't know if I'm going to wear that. I don't know how I feel about that being on my toes, but I might like it, but that's not what I thought it was. So we shall see. Okay, so it look, I'm just going to pull out all this and show you. Oh, I got some rollers. I got quite a few things for the hair, actually. So I just picked up some black um, rollers. You don't have to clamp them or anything. I forgot what they're called. Next, I picked up this. This has been all over the internet. I have to watch some YouTube videos to figure out how to do it but you're supposed to like take this and clamp it to your hair y'all y'all know what this is you clamp it on your hair and then you roll your hair around it and it's supposed to give you these spiral curls of some sort um, I got this, but then I remembered I got my flexi rods, so I've just been using my flexi rods lately. So, I don't know. We shall see. And they gave two little scrunchies to go with it, so. That's cute, that's cute. Oh, girl, I'm liking this hat. Do y'all like this hat? If you like this hat, thumbs up the video. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I got another hat, I forgot. This is, I was trying to get hats for when I be having these bad hair days, girl. I want something cute, you know. So, this hat says beautiful soul because I have a beautiful soul. I really think I do. Because right now I just wear a plain black hat and I feel like it's boyish. So, I wanted something girly. So, I got that. I think that is cute. I'm loving this hat, so I don't want to take it off. So we just gonna keep going. I got something in this bag. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is just a little uh, um, a spray pump for your hand sanitizer. And it's flat, so it can fit in your purses. Cause I like to carry small purses. Those other ones are like chunky, but this is like a thin one. So I bought that. So I got these two things. One is a turban towel for your hair. I'm not gonna take it out, but I'm gonna take the little card out. But this is what it looks like. Just when you wash your hair, just to wrap your hair up. That's that. I plan on doing some, um, you know, some skincare videos or some shower routine, skincare routine. So that's why I wanted to pick these things up so they'll be aesthetically pleasing. And this is just a, um, a, a shower. This is just like, what is it, a bath towel robe? So it's just like the bath towel, it's white and it just wraps around you and has the, um, the Velcro so it stays on you. Again, I don't wanna take it out. Subscribe to the channel when I do my, um, when I do my skincare videos or my shower routines, I'm gonna have it on so you can see. Subscribe, girl. Okay. I picked up this. This was the whole reason for the Shein haul. This, this right here. This. It's some gloves. Um, I told you I'm gonna put a rinse in my hair. And these are just some black gloves for 
dyeing your hair. That's all. I wanted them because they were long and um, just whenever I'm dyeing my hair, it gets everywhere. So I wanted to get these. These gloves caused all this. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So I will be doing my hair soon. The next wash I do, we are going to cover up these grays. Um, I also picked this up. This is a head scarf of some sort. So it's just a scarf that you tie on your hair. And I mean, it doesn't it doesn't know justice. Y'all go see it in the video. So instead of me coming on here looking crazy, I figure I can tie this around my hair. You know, like how. I've done the videos and I have like the leopard scarf tied around my hair. I'm just going to have this on, you know, just so I can give y'all something cute to look at, you know. Oh, I got this. This is a, a robe, not a robe. This is, you know, when you do your hair at the beauty salon, you tie this around you so it won't mess up your clothes. Just an apron of, I guess you can call it. But I got this, so when I dye my hair, um, I won't get hair dye everywhere. I did pick up some jewelry. I got these gold earrings. They are cute, got a nice little weight to them. I have to be careful about hoops though, because um, I got a short neck. And sometimes hoops can be too long for my neck. So I have to be mindful of that. I picked up some more of these, some gold little rings. So when I'm doing my hauls, my hands could be cute, girl. There's some more rings. These are the other rings. Again, it's not you can't you can't get the full effect right now, but you'll see them in future videos. And then I got some necklaces. Again, the packaging does them no justice, but um, you'll see me style them throughout the videos as I wear them. Let me clean up all of this other stuff. Now that we got that cleaned up, let's go to the makeup. So, I guess I'll do this one first. This is a She Glam lip liner so this is a lip liner and it comes like this i picked up some lip liners in another haul and i really liked the lip liners so that's why i wanted to get some more that's the shade it's in that will look cute with this lip today okay i got um something else this is a it's called warm nutmeg this is the She Glam Lipstick and Liner Duo in the color Warm Nutmeg. So I think I was getting, so this will be like a nude color. So it comes in a package like this and it has the lip liner and also a lipstick on the other end. Very cute, let's do a quick swatch. Oh, that's nice and brown. Can't really see the lipstick. The lipstick is very is new for real, like it blends in with my skin. But that's the lip liner there. I mean, that's that's for real new. Okay. I picked up another one, and I got this one in the color deep caramel. So this is the lip liner, and that's the lip color. You can barely see it on that one, but this is the other one. The lip color there cute and this is the third one and it's in the color soft chai can't really see it but that's the lip color that's the lip liner maybe you can see it now the light is washing it off let me turn the light down and see so i, I adjusted the light in a little bit i think this is a little better so now you can see all of them so we'll keep the light at this setting and We'll see how I go, girl. Okay, last two things, last two things. What did I get? I picked up a 
lightweight matte blush in good vibes that's the color good vibes we'll give you a swatch of it that's it swatched on my hand i turned the lights down so you can see these lights in my bathroom i'm sorry but they it's not doing any justice but it's a nice terracotta like color gorgeous my go-to my go-to um blush color i like it okay i'm sorry i adjusted the lighting again girl we're gonna get through it okay the last thing i picked up was another she glam birthday skin smoothing primer so in my last video if you didn't see that go back you can just search she Glam or She In Makeup Haul. You should be able to find it. I posted that I picked this up because a lady had recommended it and she swears by it, but I got the wrong one. So this has been sitting in my cart since then, waiting on me to make another She In Haul so I can order the correct one. So I just love their packaging. It's so pretty, but that's the packaging. And it does come with a little scoop, so I can appreciate the scoop. That way I don't have to get my hands dirty. That is it for my haul. That is it for the weekly vlog. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Come back next week for the vlog. You're going to see me put all these things away in the beauty room. That's what we do. If you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.